We're gonna change the front brakes and rotors on a D4 Audi A8. This is a 2014. Pull the wheel off with a 17 millimeter socket. I turned the wheel all the way on the driver's side in this case to the right so I can get to the caliper bolts and most things with the caliper a whole lot easier. First, I'm just gonna remove the wear sensor. Just grab on it and pull. The caliper bolts are right here in the back and you can remove the first plastic cap and there's another one just like it here at the bottom. The bolts back here are a nine millimeter hex. This fits in here. Now a nine millimeter hex is a bit harder to find. We'll take those out. There's a T45 bolt right on the front of the caliper. This has this dust shield right here, but also the caliper spring. I'll take a screwdriver right in here where the bolt is and push the spring out this direction because that's where it's held in with these little forks right here that go into the caliper. Here's one of these that I'm calling the caliper bolts. This is the thread that holds it in and then this is the nine millimeter hex right there. It's a whole lot different from what you might see on other vehicles. Even now this whole assembly might be a little bit tricky to pull off just because there's still tension under the, the pistons here. So I'm just gonna take a screwdriver and pry against the caliper and the rotor just real gently and I'll start to feel that push in. I can feel the pistons retracting a little bit and the whole caliper will come off. And the first thing I noticed when I got this off is just how light it is. And of course you don't wanna hang the caliper on the caliper hose. So I'm just gonna run this up with a copper wire and hook it off. You'll have more room to get these caliper bolts right here if you remove the sensor wire. It's up here in this position. You just pull it back, spin it down and then it'll pull out. Something I did different on these caliper bracket bolts is instead of using a 21 millimeter, which seems like these bolts are, it was a bit too loose. It, it started to feel like when I really started to put pressure on it, it was gonna strip it. And I found that a 13 16 American Standard socket set, I just tap that right on with a nylon hammer and it just fits on real tight. There's not any wiggle. It's not overly tight, but I don't have to worry about stripping them out. The last thing holding the rotor on is this retaining screw that's a T30. Sometimes the rotors can be a little stubborn and they don't want to come off. I'm using this nylon mallet to tap from the back. And we can pull it off. And in this case, I actually didn't remove the entirety of the bottom screw of the bracket here. Just keeps it loose, but it also just doesn't mean I have to put the entire thing back on. It's very important to make sure that this mounting plate here is clean, both so whenever you remount your wheel and the rotor, Everything's gonna be running concentric, but also it'll make it a little easier to get off next time so there's no rust. These pads can just pull right out. They're held in with these spring clips that go into the two, two pistons. These are the rotors that I got. These are coated Hella Pagged rotors. Those are two, two brands. I'll place it in. I'll tighten up the rotor holding screw just so everything stays in place. Now I'll retract the pistons back in, and in this case I have this really large pair of channel locks. You could use a C-clamp, you could use some sort of spreading tool in here. You just want to be able to press down evenly and gently, so I'm just squeezing very lightly and the pistons going back in very easy. Just watching the rubber boot, make sure you're not crimping on it too hard, and pull them back in. And in this case, I'm going to use Akebono pads. I'm gonna put high temperature grease on all the contact points. So I'm gonna put that on the ears on the end. And I'm also gonna put a little bit on these spring clips just so it slides in easier. I'm also just gonna clean the contact points right here on the caliper bracket. And this will pop right into the back one. And this pad's gonna go in to the calipers. Reinstall the bolts for the caliper bracket. You can slide the caliper. Right back over. We'll clean up, re-grease these guide pins before we install them. And I'm gonna put some fresh grease right on the outside of it. And reinstall this into the back. Put a little bit of silicone grease on this plastic cap and reinstall it. Last thing to do is reinstall this spring clip and this dust shield right on. I'll add a little bit of grease on the contact points of this to keep it from squealing. First, I'll put those two forks in get the forks in right here and just press it in place. And the sensor wire pushes right back into the same place on the pad and then clips right into the cap. And that's how you replace the front brakes and rotors on a Audi A8.